Hey, Sean here from speedkeepingview.com. So let's talk about just a couple tricks for parity on 4x4. Now, there's a PLL parity that a lot of people use, which is this, where you swap those pieces. But what if, let's say, you had something like this? Now, you can just do what I did and do the PLL parity followed by a U permutation, or U permutation followed by that PLL parity, and that works completely fine. But there's a little setup you can do to not have to do the U permutation. So you put the pieces on the front and the side, and then you just do sexy move. R U R prime U prime. What that did was it moved this piece to the back. So then you do the PLL parity algorithm and then you do the reverse of sexy move, which is U R U prime R prime. And that's it. So you do the sexy move, PLL parity, and then reverse that move. Now you could save some steps if you're able to slice like that, but that is the little trick for that. The other thing is this. When you have the OLL parity that's something like this, where they're all facing the front, if you're doing an OLL parity like I just did or something like that where it adjusts that, it's quite a bit faster. But if you have the one with just those two swapped, so for example, doing what a lot of people do when they start, that can take a long time, or at least a bit longer than doing the two moves. So there's an easy way to fix this. All you're going to do is, if you put that in the back and do the OLO algorithm F R U R prime U prime F prime, that moves it to the right with the bar. And then you can just do that like normal. So let me show you that once more. When you have this in general, instead of doing possibly the slower PLL parity, just do the OLL like that, and then the parity algorithm. And there you go. And then you just left with PLL, hopefully not a G permutation. So thank you very much. If you have any other tricks for those kind of things, let me know in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.